In today's Money Monday conversation, we are debunking credit card myths with a back to school vibe. Wendy Smith, the Assistant Vice President of Payment Systems at Clearview Federal Credit Union is here with sort of a throwback trend to get the ball rolling. Okay, I recognize this, Wendy. This was like big in the 80s or 90s, right? Yes, this was in the 90s. I remember making these when I was in school. Okay, so refresh my memory. What what do you want me to do so we can get this started? All right, well, this is a fortune teller. Yeah. But since we're not kids in the playground anymore, this actually is going to tell us some credit card bits. Oh, okay, uh -huh. all right. So what do we do first? Pick a color. Red. Red, R-E-D. Now pick a number. Five. Five. Oh no, two, like channel two. Oh, Okay. <laughs> one, two. Now pick a number one more time. Five. Five, all right. What is your myth? You should close an old card before opening a new one. That is a myth. All of your open credit card limits actually count towards your total available credit line on your credit report, which can actually help your credit score. So it's okay to keep one open if you're opening another one. Okay, really? Mm -hmm. How many credit cards is too many? Or is that not necessarily something to be concerned about? Yeah, it's not really something to be concerned about as long as you're using them responsibly. Okay, all right, good to know, because it helps build your credit rating. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready for another one. Yep, we'll do another one. Green. Pick a color, green. G, R, E, E, N. A right. number? S a one. One. And one more number. Seven. Seven. All right. Using a credit card will put you in debt. That is also a myth. The trick is to use your credit card responsibly. As long as you're using your card responsibly, which means only charging what you know that you can pay off each month, then you won't go into debt. But it can allow you to still build that credit. Yeah, there's some real advantages to having a credit card, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, Absolutely. you have an, another one? We're gonna keep debunking things? Yeah, well, I'm not sure how much time we have, so I can give you a bonus one. Okay, we'll take a bonus <laughs> one. <laughs> another myth is some people believe that if you use all of your available credit, there's no penalty. And that's kind of a tricky one because there usually isn't an actual penalty or fee for using your entire credit line. Right. But that can start to hurt your credit because it shows that you're using most of what you have available. So the best advice is usually to use below 30% of your available credit on that card. Well, we've learned a lot. We've learned that credit cards are good. I was telling you, I still have the very first one I signed up for in college and I've stuck with it. Which is great. Keeping your oldest card is actually also wonderful for your credit because it shows that time that you've had it. Right. What about signing up for cards that offer rewards? How important or beneficial can that be? Rewards can be a great perk for using your card. The important thing is to know what's important for you. If you're going to carry a balance on your card from month to month, you might want to look for a low interest rate rather than rewards. And you also want to pay attention to annual fees. Some cards yeah. might have them, some might not. But rewards can also be a wonderful way to, you know, get a little perk back while you build your credit. You've given us a lot of good information and brought memories back with your toy. We like it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. And remember, you can catch Money Monday presented by Clearview Federal Credit Union on the first Monday of every month. But next month, a slight adjustment. Because of Labor Day, Money Monday will be seen on Monday, September 18th instead. And it's going to be a good one. Hint. There is a dunk tank involved that frightens me a little bit. <laughs> but what does that have to do with money? Tune in to find out, and hopefully we're not going to get all wet. Stay tuned. <laughs>